Sunken Rock is a breath of fresh air. When I first read this manga, I was going through a difficult phase in my life. Everything was not working out and I was overwhelmed with the feeling of numbness and emptiness. Everything I saw and I did, I felt it was half empty and I just needed a different change, a different aspect and a different way to view things. And I read this manga called Sunken Rock which changed a huge part of me in general. The manga sends a lot of messages such as a lot of themes. The general message I got mostly from the manga is how to be strong and if you are strong it is your responsibility to take care of the weak that is something that passed through the message and how ken's gang is different from the rest of the gang Sun Ken rock's gang is all about taking care of their own about taking care of the weak and earning money through a legit way not harassing not mistreating others that is something that you get to see through the manga Aside from the messages that are being perceived, that are being passed through, we also get to see the different ideologies in the manga. Like we have the villains, their takes on uh, power and what are they fighting for. Like we have for instance, this guy fights for revenge for his lover and uh, there are people who want just power and there are people who just want money. It's, this is a fantastic manga that has been done well. It is very mature and the way they tackled it is very nice. So the manga first of all starts with the main character Ken Kitano being rejected and his girl has her own plans as she, as she intends to go to South Korea to become a policeman. So this was his plan to go to Korea to become a policeman but he ends up become, becoming a shut-in for a whole year and when one of those sad days he has breakdown and he goes to hotel to a ram hotel to have some rum and then the old man, the owner of the restaurant, shows him a little bit of kindness as he says that if we make foreigners feel miserable here, yeah, we'd feel as bad as well. And this hits Sunken Rock in the mind, it hits him deeply. And then suddenly, the old man is attacked by a bunch of hooligans, and this pieces off him, and he decides to fight off those hooligans and the head of the hooligans impressed by the fighting skills of Ken and the resilience and the strength the brute strength of Ken and he offers him the boss position and he convinces him to join them and this starts off the journey of Ken into the gang world and uh, the journey he takes on to become the kingpin of South Korea whatever it took him it's what is impeccable the journey through to, to become a kingpin so how does Ken become better how does he start to become better you know first of all be, when he joined the gang he was already good but he becomes better you know ken was a shutting he was nothing he had no ambitions he wanted a girl i did not know how to get the girl he was ashamed whenever he saw that girl he was afraid of meeting her because there was shame and when he joins the gang he starts to feel a little bit of something he starts to change the looks and the cars and he had a job title that is something that is very attractive to the ladies and he also had a, a character he was friendly to the his landlord he was friendly to the old man he was friendly to the women to the gang he was friendly to them he was a leader he was their boss and this shows the process of change and so something that people do not know is that as a as a head you can take for granted that your underlings will take care of their things they will take care of things and we kind of saw a little bit of humble humbleness from ken as he was able to take on the role of a, a manager he managed the idols he took the, the role of the manager so that he can understand the way the things run although he took it as a way to get out of the gang he did it not willingly he did not know this just shows the the humbleness the humility the, that he had and this goes a long way into the character of ken as you come to see that through this he learned a lot of things the fundamentals like how industry is toxic you know especially for the idol business the idol industry it is toxic and we see how the girls are molested they are mistreated and how the, it is tough for a woman to become an idol 
you know when you become an idol it comes with a lot of things and we do not see the other side like we don't see the behind the scenes we only see the front and this is what we were engaged in we get to see the aspects of what it takes to be an idol and how the managers play a role into the image of an idol if an idol although glamorous and convincing and smiling they are however beautiful they are if the manager is bad the the image will be bad so like and understands that and he came and cracked down on those people who mistreated the girls and changed the whole brand of the company and this goes into also the gang the way he changed the way the gang operated he had a hand in everything about the gang the people who they recruited into the gang there were a lot of principles and a lot of characteristics he searched for for the people who wanted to join the gang it was not about strength it was not about technique it was not about what what it was all about if you can be able to take care of your own to take care of your people that is something that can embodies throughout in the series in the, in the manga he is all about taking care of their own it is it's not about revenge it's not about anger it's not about rage it's not about power it's not about money it's not about all of those things it's about taking care of their own their people the people who he has met the people who has interacted with those are the people who he needs to change their life and we get to see how it is reciprocated throughout the manga he convinced me to change to become better you know when you are preoccupied with the feeling of emptiness you know everything you do it just feels like ah, this is just normal there's nothing to eat you know that is that feeling of there's nothing to eat but when you see you do something fully and you put your mind to eat you get to see the results and how people appreciate it you see and you feel a little bit full not empty and that is something that can embody he does he does not mistreat people he does not do malicious acts on people he does them gracefully he does not cut out people who are who are bad to him he instead offers them a and he offers them a chance to join his side he offers them grace that is something incredible as a leader as a friend that is incredible that is change that is becoming better that is something that people do not do normal people do not do only extraordinary people do and that is something that it is passed through the manga i love this manga totally i recommend it to you if you like content like this consider to subscribe peace out